Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? Alright, so this is going to be a reading for the sign of Aquarius. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box. So let's see what is coming through for the collective today. Hmm. All right. So it seems that you're carrying a lot of burdens around. You're feeling pressed down, depressed, like nothing isn't going your way. But there is some type of clarity that is coming forth for you very soon. Huh. It will not be a new beginning when it comes to something that you're passionate about or something that you desire. But there is a cycle that... Okay, so in this Ten of Wands, this is the ending here. But you're not letting go of the ending to have the new beginning. So this is causing you to be in a kind of gridlock and deadlock. Because you're refusing to see the truth and what is right in front of you. You've walked away from a situation or a person. Yeah. Because you felt like there were things that were being hidden from you. Mm -hmm. It could have to do with a break at home or family. Yeah. Yeah. So it seems that things are ending for you guys right now. For new things to begin. But you're holding on to the ending so much that the new cycle and a new beginning that's supposed to come in for you is not coming in because we have the ten of wands here the ace of wands here the ten of cups here the ace of cups here but all is in the reverse except for the ten of wands in the upright now why do you keep holding on not wanting things to end for you you're missing out on a new beginning in passion and love so although you've walked away from someone or a situation or someone has walked away from you you're not letting go of this person and this situation. You're holding on too strongly and it is obstructing your way from you moving forward. Let's see what is coming for you in the near future. You're going to have to make a choice here. You're going to have to focus on one thing and come out of the sense of confusion that you're feeling right now. Okay, so it could be that you were a part of a third party situation and you found out about it and this is what is having you in this type of turmoil but you can't be the best version of yourself here if you keep holding on to this hurt and pain yeah okay so i get it this person was definitely a wish fulfillment someone that you believed would have gone the distance with you but it seems that because of this disruption here where there was an ending and you felt like things couldn't be fixed between you and this person or this person did it's causing you to have this sense of depression new beginnings does want to come for you but you're not allowing it to all right so let's see what it is that have you so stressed and buckled down what what can't you let go of because this ten of wands here is the center of the reading. There is something that you're not letting go of or you can't let go of. I haven't seen the ten of swords come out here, but I'm, I will not be surprised if it does. Because there is something that you're definitely holding on to. Something that you cannot let go of. Why is this ten of wands here? Uh-huh. So, you felt like this person was your soulmate at a point in time. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. And you put everything into this relationship. There were times that this relationship was not going very well. But you gave this person a second chance. <coughs> so, before this breakup, there was another breakup. Where you reconciled with this person. But things were never the same here. You couldn't get the relationship to work. 
the relationship in itself was damaged to the point that even though you gave this person a second chance, you couldn't forgive them for what they did. So you kept your options open. Or this person made you feel like you were just another option. Yeah. Ten of Wands again. You can't let go of this person's infidelity. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. They made you feel like you were not good enough. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you're dealing with. Or you could have it in your chart. But now you're just cold. You're just distant. You're just numb to everything, everyone. You can't let go of what this person did to you. You can't let go of this situation at all. Because you were really hurt by this situation. Why is your palace of swords here? There is some clarity that you need or some truth you need to come to. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you need to find your inner strength here. You need to tame the beast inside of you that is keeping you stuck in the situation. Because this is your present here. This is your recent past and this is your future. And all the energies are reading the same because here you can't let go. They lied to you. They deceived you. They manipulated you. But you had to make a choice. And the choice was to walk away. They never apologized to you for what they did to you. And this hurts. You never got the closure from this person that you wanted. So you're one of the people that is going to have to move on from a situation that you never got an apology for. Hmm. Why is this Eight of Cups here? This Eight of Cups is here because you are still doing some self-deception. You are in your head. You're keeping yourself back. You're causing the cycle not to close off for you. When that is exactly what it is you should be doing. Because you have someone or something that sees you as a masterpiece. Like I said, a new beginning wants to come in for you. You're doubting your words and value here. When this person couldn't even see your worth or value. It's time for you to step into your own power, sweetheart. And know that you are a creator. And the more you lie to yourself, the more you're going to stay stuck. And the more this person is going to be right about what they did to you. Don't give them that power. Why is the sun in the reverse here? Why is the sun in the reverse here? Why is the sun in the reverse here? Huh. Yeah, this person was very toxic. This relationship was very toxic. This person probably had an addiction. Sex could be an addiction. And although you try to get them to see that you love them, I think you were the one that had to come to the reality that this person isn't your person. Because you gave more to this relationship than they did. You poured your whole self into this relationship and trying to help this person to get themselves right. I do understand why it is difficult for you to let go. I do understand how this feels. But the owner's person you are keeping back here is you. Why is the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups in the reverse here? Yeah, you have a choice. You could keep stuck in the past, not moving on, just waiting for this person to finally choose you. Or you could have this new beginning that is promised to you by the divine. A new beginning when it comes to love does want to come in for you, but you are at this crossroad. Do you stay stuck in the past or are you willing to move on to new adventures? Why is the Seven of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Seven of Cups here? 
yeah you've gone silent you've gone in into you you you're searching for the answers you're trying to figure out <laughs> <coughs> what i'm going to tell you is this this new beginning that is coming for you is going to come with somebody that is emotionally available someone that is ready for relationships someone that wants to be with you and love you the right way but you're in this energy of being closed off of being numb can't function so the energy coming into you is to comfort you, but you're going to push this person away. Yeah. Because you are afraid to face your truth. It's like you're shoving everyone out the door that comes towards you. Ooh. Yeah. You need a lot of healing. It's time for you to balance out your energies and stop trying to control the situation. Because what is happening here is you're turning into this person that hurt you. So you are turning into exactly what destroyed you in the first place. And someone is looking at you and someone does want higher levels of commitment with you. What you're doing to this person, what your former person did to you, is that fear. Is that fear, Aquarius? It's time for you to stop yourself loading. <coughs> Sorry. Some of you, you need to do some work on your throat chakra. Because your voice needs to come out. There is a commitment coming for you on your beginning when it comes to love. With a specific person that you never would have thought would come to you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Someone that is ready for stability, ready for long-term success, ready for home and family. But you're going to refuse communication with these two people so you're going to have options you understand but you're not ready to move on from this toxic energy one out of these two people wants higher levels com of commitment with you wants to love you the right way but you're here in this energy of someone did something wrong to you so the world has to pay for it and it's only keeping you back because what has ended needs to end or needed to end to bring you where you're supposed to be in life so you could choose to hold on to the past and hold on to an ending with someone that couldn't love you for who you are or you could move on to someone that does love you for exactly who you are all right so this is what i have for you guys i hope it does help have a good one